Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Well, I want to come here and speak with you today. This is for somebody. Now, I want to ask you this. I want to ask you what we are going to stop doing. Do you know what it is that we are going to stop doing? And I'm going to try to finish this up before my children get wild because I am in the house, not outside, in my own space, in my own mind. So um, I had to bribe them with some candy and that didn't work. And I tell you, the enemy, <laughs> he has a way of using people. Yes, he used, he used the children too. Not, not, not that they know. They're innocent, but he uses them too. <laughs> so they, uh, so as soon as I gave them the candy, they started to just get outrageous. They want more. They're crying because I won't give them more. I tried to give them the candy to calm them down in the first place. But anyway, I digress. Let me get right back into this. So I'm going to tell you here today what we are not going to do. What we are not going to do. And just one more disclaimer. If you hear them, uh, find a way to ignore them, the background noise, because I know I am. <laughs> this is the only way I can come on more um, frequently than, um, than not. So... I would like to come on more frequently and do lives from um, this channel. So sometimes they may even be in the videos. Who knows? But we're going to push forward because like this, this is actually, it um, falls in and what I'm getting ready to say today. So what we are not going to do is we are not going to put our in this season we are not going to put our lives on hold we are not going to put our lives on hold in this season so we're not gonna put our lives on hold for nobody nobody again not in this season okay so we may have put our lives on hold for other people for relationships not meeting our full potential and um just being who we are being our authentic self our authentic being being so we may have you know just to be accepted or just to you know find ways to i guess uh for for a lack of a better word or comprehension let me just say we probably just want to get to know someone get to know someone better so a lot of times we might put our own things that are important to us things that are part of us you know things that are part of us we may put them to the back burner subconsciously you know, subconsciously doing so, meaning that we don't have a, you know, and what I mean by subconsciously, I mean that, you know, we don't, we do it without thought. We don't think. So when we have that thought in our mind, we don't, um, pretty much we don't try to investigate that thought. So that's what I mean by subconsciously do it. We subconsciously do it because we, We'll think it, but we'll put it out of our mind. It'll be like in the back of our minds. So we'll think it like, dang, you know, am I really uh, not being my authentic self? If I'm really not coming through authentically and being who I am because I'm around this person? You get what I'm saying? So it's like, and then it's like, okay, but no, since we know that, we are, you know, going to build relationships and get to know one another. We don't think it again. We don't, we don't, the thought just don't 
It's not something that we consciously just mean to do. It just happens. It just happens. And we don't investigate that thought. So, um, hopefully I'm making myself clear about that. But we have to stop putting our lives on hold for other people. And when we think that thought that we are doing, then we need to check that and be like, you know, am I... Am I coming across authentically? Am I being myself? Am, is there something that I'm doing around this person that I don't necessarily do when they are not around? Or is there a certain way I'm being around this person that I don't necessarily be or who I am when this person come around? You know, um, and that... It, I guess it can come off as a form of people pleasing. I guess it can. Um, again, something that you may not even have that, you know, feeling or idea. Or that just may not even be in your character to please people. But since you, you know, are not being yourself and who you are, just to make somebody else feel better. It is a form of people pleasing. You you know, we do things to appease other people. So we may not uh do something. So I that's that's that is a way. That is a way of people a form of people pleasing is what I'm saying. So we just have to check those thoughts, we have to check those feelings because they are very much so valid. And who we are, who we are, my daughter is right here. So, again, if I happen to speak to one of them, forgive me, but there's a message that I must get out, and I'm doing that here by any means necessary, <laughs> if it's in my power to do so, and in my control. So, yeah. We have to check those thoughts and feelings when it comes to what we feel we do when we are around people. Are we showing up as ourselves or are we showing up as someone else? As someone else. Because if we are not operating naturally, then we might be showing up as, as unauthentic. We might not be showing up as our original selves being comfortable because people going to accept you for who you are or they are not so you might be this great person so great you know you your personality your work ethic you know um just who you are that's just who you are and, you know, if somebody cannot appreciate that or if that intimidates them, then that's not your problem. That is a them problem. And they have to figure out why that is. And it really shows you who is someone you can keep around for, you know, you know probably the long run, hopefully, by showing up authentically and being yourself. You know, and it's a it's a form and it's a change of energy. It's a change of energy because by you not putting your life on hold for somebody else, you know, think about this. You already taken from yourself. You already taken from your power that is within you to um. Be there for someone else in ways. To show up for them in ways. And you're taking away from yourself already as is. Now, you can do that. But is that any good for you? Is that any good for you going forward? Because you haven't shown up in your authentic self. In your authentic being. Stop. You haven't shown up in that way. So, just take a step 
back and oh, ask you. yourself those questions. Ask yourself, am I showing up authentically? Am I being myself? Because when we place our lives on hold for other people and we have to ask ourselves, why am I placing my life on hold for this person? Why am I doing that? Why am I? Why can I be me? Why can I be me? You know? And if you can't be you, then what purpose is that person going to serve you going forward? What purpose are y'all going to serve each other? Because in relationships, it's give and take. It's give and take. It just imagine, just think of how much energy that you are pouring into someone and you are losing because they can't return that same energy because you haven't shown them that side of you. And then when you do show them that side of you, they, you know, they might not receive it. They may not receive it. So energy is a pretty much when I what I mean by energy it's a form of giving and receiving as I mentioned and it flows it has to flow both ways think of it like this think of rivers of waters bodies of waters bodies of waters you have rivers you have lakes you have oceans and they all flow from one to the other they give and receive from one to the other. So they are, it's like a constant pour. It's a constant pour. It's a constant pour of one in a, one one river, one body into another. So that's the way it will work with the person that you you know, you might be putting your life on hold with, which you shouldn't be doing. But if that's the case, that person should be just as much as you are pouring into that person, that person should be pouring back into you and you both should be exchanging energies in that type of way. Science even tells us just how rain is formed, how water is evaporated from, you know, the air and from oceans and things like that. And then it rises up. And then it flows back down. So it's like a cycle. Energy is a cycle. So it's just like recycling. We just, we're recycling energy. So by doing that, you are able to, you know, be in alignment. Be in alignment with who you are. You won't be giving out too much and not receiving it back. So stop putting your life on hold. And when you put your life on hold... For anybody, it, 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 it is it's different areas where you can put your life on hold. It just doesn't have to be one person, you know, um, in relationships, a man, a woman. <laughs> Come on now, somebody. It, um, it can be also with um, jobs, with family members, you know, and things like that. It can be in different areas of your life. So wherever you might find out there's an area in your life where you are putting your life on hold. Ask yourself, why am I putting my life on hold? And, you know, am I really working towards, am I really being my authentic self and working towards being all that I was created to be and being in my full purpose in this particular type of relationship whether it's with a, in a relationship with a, a um partner man or woman whether whether it's a relationship with a career or job or relationships with family members and friends you have we have to always constantly ask ourselves am i putting my life on hold and if i am why is that why am I not operating in who I am? And who I am? And why? Let's talk about that. Why are we not operating in that way? Could it be 
a lack of self-confidence? Could it be um, because we feel that we um, don't deserve or are not worthy of a certain thing? Why do we do that? That's the question. You have to ask yourself, why am I putting my life on hold for someone else? And and, and, and by doing that, you have to ask yourself, is this, what is this person doing? Is this person putting their life on hold for me in any way? You know, are they making sacrifices? Because that's what it is as well. It's a sacrifice. And you have to ask yourself, is it a good sacrifice? Or is it a positive sacrifice? Or is it a negative sacrifice? Because you might be putting yourself, your life on hold. And it could be a negative for a negative outcome. It could be, uh, and what I mean by being negative is that it's taken away from your potential, for you reaching your highest potential. It's taken away from your power within. It's taken away from who you are. It's taken away from you growing. That's what I mean by that. So that's negative. Now, if it's, if it's positive, you know, there there are reasons to put, you know, well, I don't know. I can't say if there's any reason to put your life on hold because even if you stop doing something temporarily because, you know, maybe something happened, came up that was out of your control, then in that instance, you're not putting your life on hold. You can always pick back up where you left off. And you can do that as well when you do put your life on hold negativity. You can all negative for negative reasons. You can always pick up and move forward. But just think about how much, you know, time went by where you could have been where you wanted to be where you want to be now or already instead of working towards getting there you know, in the present, but, you know, that's what I mean by us putting our lives on hold, because there are many areas that we can put our lives on hold, and we have put our lives on hold, so I just wanted to say that another way we put our lives on hold is just by getting distracted, procrastinating, it, it, it don't always have to do with other people, it is also us who put our lives on hold. You know, we procrastinate. We, like I mentioned, we spend too much time on social media. Um, we do things. What we might sit around all day and watch TV. Don't find any productive things to do to um, be productive with our time that we have been given. So we do a lot of things that don't even benefit ourselves so we put our lives on hold in that way as well so there are many ways that we put our lives on hold but we have this is the season for us to stop putting our lives on hold we have to stop those things that we have been doing that have not been serving us in order for us to get to where we need to be and to reach our maximum full power and potential we have to do that we have to do that. So this is the day that I want you to take some time and ask your question, yourself that question. Am I putting my life on hold? And if you are putting your life on hold, ask yourself, why? Why am I putting my life on hold? And once you figure out why you're putting your life on hold, then I want you to... Um, just start to write down, write everything down on paper and write out how could you, why you put your life on hold, maybe what led up to it, write some notes, and then I want you to find some ways to go forward and start working on now going from a state of putting your life on hold to getting back in the state of moving along with your life. Because if we're putting our life on hold for other people, we have to leave those people where they are. Okay? 
We have to leave people where they are. It's not their time. Okay? And don't feel guilty about doing it. Don't feel guilty about putting your life on hold for nobody. I don't care who it is. Okay? Because are you doing anything wrong? Are you doing anything wrong? You have to ask yourself by putting by moving on with your life. <laughs> are you doing anything wrong by doing that? Because trust me, they've been moving on with their lives and having a grand old time doing it. Okay? So your life is yours to live. Your life is yours to direct. Your life is yours to fulfill why you are here on this earth because you have a purpose. And you have a purpose to fulfill why you are on earth. So if anybody is being stagnant and complacent and does not want to elevate, that's not your problem. That's a them problem. And you're going to stop putting your life on hold to make them feel good about themselves. Because that comes to an end. That comes to an end, like I say here today. And going forward, that goes, that, that comes to an end. And if they have a problem with you doing just that, moving on, Listen, tell, listen, I've been sitting here, I've been, you know, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Because I know what I'm gonna do. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? It just be an example. Be an example. Because really you can't tell nobody what to do. People are gonna do what they wanna do. And they have every right to. But just because they are doing something that it doesn't have to adversely affect you just because they're doing something that may be uh, distracting may be um, you know wasting time doesn't mean that you have to be doing what they're doing you know you go on with your life and you create the life that you want to live on your journey through life. And if they have a problem with that, then that shows you that they weren't with you all along. They weren't with you anyway from, from the beginning. But see, that's why I say it's important to don't put your life on hold from for anyone be yourself show up as yourself show up as who you are show up in your greatness show up and don't apologize for being who you are you are you you are unique you are one of a kind Okay, <laughs> so, and if people can't appreciate you for who you are and what you bring to the table, then, hey, it's their loss. It's their loss. That's why you have to show up as yourself and no one else. Show up as yourself. And be who you are. And allow others to be who they are. Because when you do it that way, you may not waste time. You know, you get to know people authentically. And they get to know you authentically. See, it's a two-way. It's a two-way uh, street. It don't work one way. So when you show up as you are, you get to see people as well. See if they can handle you. See if, you know, they could, like I mentioned before, appreciate you. 
see if they can grow with you and even help you grow to be better and vice versa. The exchange of energy, give and receive, is a cycle, it flows. So, just keep that in mind. Show up as who you are in your greatness. And don't put your life on hold for anyone at all. Because it's not going to benefit you to do that. It's not going to benefit you. It's not going to serve you to put your life on hold for someone. For anyone. Do not put your life on hold. Show up as you are. Show up as you are. In all of your greatness. And... If they can handle it, they'll stick around. And if they cannot handle it, they'll be going bye-bye. They'll be going bye-bye. But don't worry about that. That's not for you to worry about. That's not your problem. That's not your problem at all. You just continue to show up as you are. Show up as you are. <laughs> and don't forget it. Don't forget it. Don't forget it ever again. If you have forgotten who you are, have you forgotten who you are? Because you must have forgotten who you are by putting your life on hold. For what? For what? You've forgotten who you are. So I'm here today to remind you of who you are who you are because you it's time for you to start letting other people know who you are it's just time you're in it's, it's that season it's that season it's that season of showing people who you are showing them because it's better for it's better that we show people than to tell people anything anything so be about your business be about the father's business be about good business and walk with your head held high because I'm telling you it's gonna take a level of confidence. It's going to take a level of confidence to do so. It's going to take a level of confidence to to be you and not put your life on hold for anyone else or anything else. So, don't forget that. Do not ever forget your greatness. That is your power. Don't decrease your power to fit in. Don't shrink yourself to make somebody else comfortable. Don't do that. Don't do that. Be glorious. Be glorious because that is who you are. That is what you are. Don't dim your light to make other people feel of importance. Do not do that. Stop doing that. You are in the season. This is the season now that you are in. You are in the season of greatness, abundance. You are in the season of healing, success. 
to be prosperous. That is the season that you are in and you cannot walk in all of your greatness if you are still putting your life on hold for other people. You just cannot walk in it. You cannot be magnified if you are putting your life on hold for other people. It just it, it just isn't going to happen like that. It just isn't. It isn't going to happen like that. You have to set yourself free. Fly. Just fly. You have to set yourself free. And that is a level of torment. Because you are taken away from your spirit and your soul. You are, you are taken away from your spirit and your soul. By committing such an act against yourself. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? And why Why would you want to do such a thing to yourself? Why? Why? Alright. I'm going to leave y'all with that. And... As I mentioned, that message is for somebody. That 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 there is for somebody. Somebody needed to hear this today. Okay? Time has been far too spent. And it is time for you to pick up, remember your greatness. That is within you. Remember the greatness that is within you. It's time for you to collect and gather all your strength and all your might. Pick it up. Carry it with, with grace and fall back in line with who you are what you were created to do, your purpose. It's time for you to get back in alignment. And those who are meant to be, will be anything that is meant to be, will be. And what is not meant to be, it won't be. But you have to be okay with that because your life must go on. Your life must go on. You don't have to be nasty about it. You don't have to be like, well, you uh, you know, good for me. You 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 know, what are you here for? You don't have to be like that. Like I said, remember, all you have to do is just do it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to do anything else but be an example. Be an example to the to those around you. Be an example. All right. That's all I have today. And if it be the Father's, if it be His will and His plan, I will be back again. My child is here again, as you can see. Her fingers are in the way. <laughs> She's bothering me. Where you going? Huh. I told you to go upstairs. Huh? <laughs> Nothing is funny. Nothing is funny. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, again, y'all take care now. And remember, don't be out here people, please. Don't be out here people, please. Take your life in your hands. That's it. That's all I'm going to give you. Take your life in your hands. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Take your life in your hands. Take your life in your hands. All right. Peace.